In this video, I will be sharing with you my top 7 favorite hanging plants that thrive in south and west facing windows. These plants are very easy to grow, making them perfect for beginners or plant enthusiasts who have a busy schedule. One of my first choices is the Purple Heart Plant, also known as Tradescantia paulida. It is a popular indoor and outdoor plant that belongs to the Camelanaceae family and is native to Mexico and Central America. The plant is commonly grown as an ornamental plant in many parts of the world. The Purple Heart Plant is an excellent hanging plant that produces long, trailing stems with oval-shaped leaves that are typically a deep shade of purple when exposed to sunlight. If kept in the shade, the plant will turn green. It is easy to grow and care for, and is well suited to a variety of growing conditions. During the summer, it blooms with small purple flowers. These are dried flowers. As you can see, I have a few of them in my collection, and I keep them near a southwest window where they get at least 4 hours of sunlight. They are also suitable for balconies and gardens. The purple heart plant is known to be drought tolerant, so I only water them when the soil is almost completely dry. During the summer, when the plant is actively growing, I water them more often. It's important to avoid overwatering as this can lead to root rot and other problems. By allowing the soil to dry out slightly between waterings, you can help ensure that the plant remains healthy and thriving. The String of Hearts plant, also known as Serapija woodii, is a popular trailing plant that is native to South Africa. It is known for its heart-shaped leaves and delicate, cascading vines that can reach up to several feet in length. The String of Hearts plant is a beautiful and low-maintenance plant that can add a touch of elegance to any space. It is well suited to hanging baskets or pots placed on shelves or tables where its delicate vines can cascade down. Keep both of my plants about 1 meter away from a west-facing window, where they receive a few hours of sunlight each day. It's important to be careful not to expose them to too much direct sunlight, as this can cause their leaves to burn. The String of Hearts plant is drought-tolerant and prefers to be kept slightly dry. Water it sparingly, only when the soil is completely dry. This plant benefits from occasional pruning to promote bushier growth and prevent legginess. The cuttings can be easily propagated, which can be rooted in water or soil. My third choice for a hanging plant is the inch plant, also known as Tradescantia zebrina. It is a popular trailing plant that is native to Mexico and Central America, known for its striking purple and green leaves that are fleshy and elliptical in shape. This beautiful and low-maintenance plant can add a touch of elegance to any space, and is well suited to hanging baskets or pots. The inch plant prefers bright, indirect light, but can also tolerate some direct sun. However, it's important to be careful not to expose it to too much direct sunlight, as it can burn the leaves. My inch plant receives around 3 hours of direct afternoon sun, but it's placed about 1 meter away from the window. The inch plant prefers to be kept slightly moist, but not overwatered. I water it regularly, allowing the soil to dry out slightly between waterings. It's also easy to propagate the plant by stem cuttings, which can be rooted in water or soil. The String of Pearls plant, also known by its scientific name Senecio raulianus, is a succulent plant that belongs to the Asteraceae family. It is native to South Africa and is a popular houseplant due to its unique appearance. The plant features long, trailing stems that can reach up to 3 feet in length, which are lined with small, spherical leaves that resemble pearls. These leaves are typically a bright green color, although they can turn yellow or brown if the plant is not getting enough water or light. The string of pearls plants require a mix of direct and indirect sunlight, totaling approximately 6 to 8 hours per day for optimal growth. It is recommended to place them in direct sunlight during the morning hours when the sun's rays are not as intense, and then move them to an area with diffused, indirect light, or partial shade during the harsher afternoon hours. 
This will ensure that the plant receives the appropriate amount of light without being exposed to direct sunlight for extended periods, which can cause damage. During the growing season in spring and summer, it's recommended to keep the soil of the plant lightly moist and to reduce watering during the winter months. If you notice that the spherical leaves of the succulent are becoming flat, it's a sign that the plant requires more water. Generally, it's advisable to water the plant once every 7 to 14 days. The burrow's tail plant, also known by its scientific name Sedum morganianum, is a succulent plant that is native to Mexico and Honduras. It's a member of the Crassulaceae family and is characterized by its long, trailing stems that are covered in small, plump, blue-green leaves. One of the most striking features of the burrow's tail plant is its ability to grow long, thick stems that can reach up to 3 feet in length. The stems are often used in hanging baskets, where they can cascade down and create a beautiful, trailing effect. In terms of care, it's important to ensure that the soil is well draining and that the plant is not left in standing water. As a drought-resistant plant, it's important not to overwater the burrow's tail plant, as it can cause the lovely succulent to rot. However, it's essential to note that mature plants require more water, so it's important to check the soil frequently to ensure it's not too dry. It's recommended to water your burrow's tail plant once every 14 days. These plants are not frost tolerant and should be kept away from cold drafts or temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. If your burrow's tail plant becomes too long or leggy, you can prune it back to encourage branching and a fuller, more compact growth habit. The burrow's tail succulent is a highly adaptable plant that can be easily propagated, making it a popular choice for succulent enthusiasts. With its ability to propagate from stem cuttings and leaves, it's easy to create new plants from an existing one. As a result, I have successfully propagated more than five burrow's tail plants in various pots of different sizes. One of the most interesting features of the burrow's tail plant is its sensitivity. Its leaves can fall off easily if touched, but this is not a cause for concern as they can be used to propagate new plants. Simply place the fallen leaves in the pot and watch as they start to root and grow into new plants. If you like my content, please support my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and it's completely free for you. Thanks for watching.